हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू पॉजिटिव अप्रोच दिस इज नितेश भारद्वाज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अवर चैप्टर टू ऑफ यूनिट थ्री चैप्टर नेम इज फ्रिक्शन सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट स्टार्ट आवर फर्स्ट की पॉइंट इज फ्रिक्शन फ्रिक्शन इज एन अपोजिंग फोर्स एंड इट सेट बिटवीन टू सरफेस ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट आवर थर्ड की पॉइंट मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ फ्रिक्शन इज कॉल्ड लिमिटिंग फ्रिक्शन एंड स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ फ्रिक्शन इज कॉल्ड लिमिटिंग फ्रिक्शन मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ फ्रिक्शन कम्स इन टू प्ले वेन इट जस्ट बिगेन टू स्लाइड मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ फ्रिक्शन कम्स इन टू प्ले वेन इट जस्ट बिगेन टू स्लाइड इट इज कॉल्ड लिमिटिंग फ्रिक्शन और स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन फोर्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन इज नॉन कंजर्वेटिव फोर्स फोर्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन इज नॉन कंजर्वेटिव फोर्स वेन वन सरफेस इज इन स्टेडी मोशन ओवर द अदर सरफेस कॉल्ड काइनामेटिक फ्रिक्शन वट इज काइनामेटिक फ्रिक्शन वेन वन सरफेस इज इन स्टेडी मोशन ओवर द अदर सरफेस इज कॉल्ड काइनामेटिक फ्रिक्शन अवर नेक्स्ट के पॉइंट इज अटोमिक एंड मॉलिकुलर फोर्सिज ऑफ अट्रैक्शन बिटवीन टू सरफेस एट पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट गिव राइज टू फ्रिक्शन वट इज पॉसिबल फॉर फ्रिक्शन वट इज द रीजन बिहाइंड फ्रिक्शन इट इज ड्यू टू द अटोमिक एंड मॉलिकुलर फोर्स इज ऑफ अट्रैक्शन बिटवीन टू सरफेस एट पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट गिव राइज टू फ्रिक्शन अवर नेक्स्ट के पॉइंट इज फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन टू सरफेस इंक्रीजेज वेन सरफेस आर मेड हाईली स्मूथ यस इट इज इंक्रीजेज वेन सरफेस आर मेड हाईली स्मूथ highly smooth keep in mind highly smooth friction between two surface increases rather than decreasing rather than decreasing when surface are made highly smooth because when we made surface highly smooth it increase our uh, area of contact our next question is our next key point is value of limiting friction between two given point is directly proportional to reaction the value of friction at any point g is Directly proportional to normal reaction. What does this implies? It is equal to mu dot r, where mu is the coefficient of friction, where mu is equal to f divided by r, where f is limiting friction and r is normal reaction, which is equal to mg. And mu is called coefficient of friction, or it is also called static friction. Value of limiting friction. Value of limiting friction is independent of the area of the surface of contact, and this uh, and the coefficient of friction and this coefficient of static friction it depend upon the nature of the object. It depend upon nature of the object, temperature, etc. Our next key point are angle of friction. What is angle of friction? Angle of friction is given by tangent alpha is equal to mu. Then coefficient of friction is equal to tangent of the angle of friction. And angle of repose, angle of repose implies tangent theta is equal to mu. And this and this equation implies what? Angle of friction is equal to angle of repose. Angle of friction is equal to angle of repose. That is theta is equal to alpha. and keep in mind our next key point is rolling friction rolling friction is less than of stating friction and uh, i forget to the tell you so one thing that is coefficient of stating friction or limiting friction is greater than that of the coefficient of kinematic friction is greater than that of the coefficient of rolling friction in static friction kinematic kinetic friction and rolling friction rolling friction is less than than kinetic friction and then static friction i hope these point are clear to you and the method to reduce friction these are some method which reduce friction between two object number 1 is polishing number 2 lubrication number 3 proper selection of material and number 4 streamlining i hope these key points are clear to you our next key point and next important questions are coefficient of limiting friction has no unit yes coefficient of limiting friction what is limiting friction mu s which is equal to force of friction divided by normal reaction where r is equal to mg 
this is our coefficient of limiting friction and it has no unit now relation between angle of friction and angle of repose both are equal what is the relation between angle of friction as we earlier discussed alpha is equal to theta both the angle of repose and angle of friction are equal our next question why friction is non conservative force friction is non conservative force why because work done against friction along closed path is not equal to zero because work done against friction closed path is not zero why are wheel made of circular because rolling friction is less than that of sliding friction that's why wheel are made of circular because we know that rolling friction rolling friction is less than that of sliding friction what happened to fluid friction as speed of object moving through it is increased what happened to fluid friction if speed of the object increase this is implies fluid friction increases fluid friction increases as the speed of object moving through it increase our next and last key point is force of friction always act in direction opposite to that of applied force force of friction always acts in the direction which is opposite to that of applied force now let's do some numerical our first numerical is horizontal force of 490 newton is required to slide slash weighing 600 kgf over the surface calculate the coefficient of friction we know that the value of the coefficient of friction mu k is equal to force divided by normal reaction where r is mg now here what is force your force is 490 newton and slide is which kgf and its weight is mass is equal to 600 kgf which is equal to 600 into 9.8 now we have to calculate the coefficient of friction which is mu coefficient of friction mu s which is equal to force 490 divided by 600 into 9.8 by calculating this value we can easily get our coefficient of friction i hope this numerical is clear to you our next numerical a particle of mass 0.3 kg is subjected to a force of f minus kx where k is 15 newton per meter what will be its initial acceleration if it is released from a point of 20 cm away from your origin very simple numerical a particle of mass m given that m is equal to 0.3 kg to a force here f is equal to minus kx where k is equal to 15 newton meter inverse and what will be its initial acceleration we have to calculate its acceleration if it is released from a distance of 20 cm away from the origin here x is equal to 20 cm which is equal to 20 divided by 100 meter which is equal to 0.2 meter now we know that what is force force it is equal to mass into acceleration we have to calculate acceleration which is force divided by mass what is force here force here is minus 15 into x 0.2 divided by what is mass 0.3 kg which is equal to 15 to zar 33.0 with the negative sign divided by 0.3 here acceleration is minus 10 meter per second square i hope this numerical is clear to you our next numerical is a force of 98 newton just able to move a body weighing 45 kg f on a rough horizontal space calculate the coefficient of friction we have to calculate the coefficient of friction the formula of coefficient of friction the formula of coefficient of friction is it is equal to force divided by reaction where reaction it is equal to mg now what is force here force given is 98 newton and its mass is 45 kg f okay now mu s mu s is equal to f divided by r where r is equal to mass into g where g is acceleration due to gravity which is equal to 9.8 meter per second square which is equal to 45 into 9.8 where f is f is 98 10 therefore mu s is equal to 10 divided by 45 5 2 10 5 9 which is equal to 0.9 2 18 9 2 18 This is our coefficient of friction, which is equal to zero point two two. I hope these numerical are 
clear to you this is all about our chapter friction i hope these all key points and all numerical are clear to you thank you and have a nice day